Hey, good morning, Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for being with me today. If you're watching this on video rather than the podcast, uh, you'll see that it's dark here right now. I'm just getting ready to take an all night drive. I don't know where I'm gonna be in the morning, at what time, and so rather than hope to get this done and get this posted in time, I wanted to get it done tonight. But, um, you know, I had an opportunity today to listen to one of my friends talking on Instagram and she just triggered a few thoughts that I wanted to bring up in, in my episode today. And if you wanna go listen to her, uh, she's a great entrepreneur. She's done some really cool things. Um, look her up on Instagram, The Real Jenny McCarthy. Um, she's in Alberta, but uh, she really had some good thoughts today. And what it is, she talked about planting seeds. She talked about paradigm shifts, those sort of things. But she brought it up, you know, with her, she had a child going back to school and talking about the things that we say to the children and how it impacts them more than we might know and for longer than we may realize. And that's what I want you to think about. One, one I would love, I, I don't wanna get political or anything, but just out of curiosity more than any, anything, I'd love to hear about what your situation is with your kids in school, what are they doing? You know, for myself, I've got two kids that right now are still just doing the online and they're talking that they might be able to start going back probably on a part-time basis soon, I hope. And then I've got one child that is full-time. He's been full-time for a few weeks now and it's been going great. But um, love to hear what's happening out there in different circumstances and what you think of it. But going back to what Jen was talking about, you know, she was talking about what we say to our kids in circumstances like this and how we might say something quite innocently and it really has an impact on them long term by the seeds that we're planting in things that we say. She gave an example um, when she was just starting out to be an entrepreneur. Someone in passing by said something to her about not being able to make it and always struggling, those sort of things. and. It was probably just a quick comment that person made, but it's something that's always stuck with her. That every time things get hard, it's something that's in her mind. And what are we saying to our kids about different circumstances that we're planting seeds that we might say things, you know, and not even just to our kids, our kids, our employees, our whatever, you know, different friends, family, you know, what are we saying to people that is planting seeds that has an impact on them long term that we may not even realize um you know she was talking with her young one going to school she wasn't talking about being scared going to school that they might get coronavirus or something like that she wasn't planting that seed in their mind because it's not a it's not an empowering thing to plant in a kid's mind but i'd like to hear comments on what you're thinking about that have you ever had a situation where someone said something to you, whether they meant it intentionally to hurt you or to scare you or do anything, or they just said something that you didn't even think much, they weren't thinking much about, but it really had an impact on you. Because I think it's something we need to be a lot more aware of, is what we're saying and the seeds we're planting. Um, so yeah, please leave me some comments and tell me about that. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about today was I've, I've used, this saying with people before and I guess it was good to put it in my own life today is looking at the concept and I Tony Robbins was the first one that I heard talk about this but light look at life as it is happening for you not to you and you know today I had some things this morning I had a real busy day planned out so I could get things wrapped up before I left tonight and right from the beginning things kind of went sideways on me and I had to take a vehicle to the shop and then on the way home I blew a tire in another vehicle and the tire shop was backed up and it was going to put me way back and it, these were all things that really could have frustrated me and got me angry or whatever and because it really did make my day I really lost a lot of productivity but you know as I thought about it this is happening for me and not to me it made me think of things like you know i blew that tire in my truck 
well, if I'm driving all night tonight and I'm in the middle of between somewhere between Arizona and Utah and that would have happened, you know, I would have been in a world of trouble. So, you know, even though it was inconvenient and it caused some problems today, it really might have been a blessing. And so just something I want to encourage you to do. Look at life as it's happening for you, not to you. And see if that'll help you handle some of the things that you've got to face on a daily basis. But thanks for being with me. I hope you have a great day. And I will be back on here and talking to you again on Friday. So thanks and we will see you then. Bye.